Hello, I hope that all is well with you. Hope everybody is doing well out there in uh, YouTube land and Facebook world or wherever you may hear this video. I am coming back because I just wanted to hit on something uh, really quickly because it's really been on my mind. It just keeps hitting me. The, the, the topic or the subject just keeps hitting me. Uh, so I said, let me just talk to us about this because it is really important and it's always important to learn something and or to be enlightened, uh, you know, about in, uh, things that are, you know, regarding our character, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, or, you know, mentality, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So what I'm, what keeps hitting me is the fact, or not the fact, but is that people keep saying, Oh, I can't believe this police officer did this. Oh, I can't believe this fine, upstanding medical uh, professional did this. Or I can't believe that so-and-so did that. But they keep um, using the person's profession. You know, even, yeah, just yesterday I clicked on something. Um, even... They, you know, oh, this, you know, they're a professional athlete. How could they do that? You know, what? So you think that becoming, you know, your profession is what gives you character or makes you or uh, makes a person not behave in a certain way? No. Although there was a time that that would be true that uh, an officer or a medical professional or athlete was upstanding but it's the person before you're anything you are a person okay you know it does being a, a medical professional again does not make you uh, a professional it doesn't make you have character you know um it's the person first and foremost um, that has character, that has morals, that has values. Um, it, it doesn't matter. So, you know, because I remember I used to say that, you know, when they started talking about, this was years ago, when wood out of the woodwork or, you know, people start coming out of the woodwork talking about so-and-so raped me or so-and-so did this or this this cop did that or this person did this this person did that but it's like why are you surprised by this some people would be like you know again why are you surprised by this this person is nothing but especially in no disrespect to the um fraternal order of brotherhood blah 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 you know but they're to me and I, not all of them of course but they're nothing but thugs. They're nothing but gang members. And that's just how people are in general. They're just, you know, whatever you were before you got into this particular profession, you're still, they're still going to be that same person. That's not going to change them. It's only by the Spirit of God that we can actually be changed, that we can actually become holy you know, and righteous, not by our own righteousness, because it's, it's his righteousness that makes us righteousness. Remember that we're clothed in him. Is Remember, the Bible says that our, our, our righteousness, anything that we try to do good and right is going to be is, is going to amount to filthy rags. That's why we work in the work with God in the spirit. Uh, in the Holy Spirit to, you know, do something. You know, we're led by him. We work th through him, uh, not on our own because we're no, you know, we're really no good. The Bible says that the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who could know it? Even, you know, it, when we do, you know, when we try to cause of doing good, there's some underlying agenda. We either want a pat on the back, you know, we want people to recognize us and to see us. We're covering up something, you know, there's some underlying something, you know, we give to 
the poor or to a organization. We're looking back, we're looking for a tax break or some kind of tax tax credit or you know, we always go are going to have a motive. It's not just I'm giving and I'm uh, you know, because I, I out of love or or you know, because the person had a need you know, blah, blah, blah. It's because we have motives, okay? And our motives are not good, <laughs> okay? The heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it, okay? So, but yeah, you know, if a person, yeah, so... So, you know, and there was a time when people were so up, you know, like I always say, because people nowadays, to me, they, they have no work ethic. They care less about the service that they provide. They'll just take your money and run, you know, like contractors and different people, blah, blah, blah. You know, they're just, you know, they just take your money and go. They're not interested in taking pride in the work that they used that they do you know like it used to be man uh people man i'm telling you building houses or carpenters or people who installed things into your home appliances or something like that they had they took you know and in, in, in crafts people you know people who made shoes or you know cobblers i mean these people did work exquisite you know exceptional work but nowadays shh, it's all about everybody has turned their eye and and turned their mind and it's all about just making money yes we need money in this world you know but it's not about money it's about the service that you provide people are gonna pay for what they need and for what they want, and they, they, you know, and you know, and they're not going to be afraid to, or they're going to give you. But they're also looking for something in return. You know, this this world, man. I'm telling you, this 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 money has just become the the uh, the uh, uh, the uh, end all cure all for some people. You know, they kill, for, I mean, do anything for it. When people having sex from, you know, just doing all sorts for money. I mean, it's like, what is, well, how, what do you think this is going to get you? You know, it, it's not going to get you anywhere. Money is it, not, it's not going to get you anywhere. You know, people are to turn their life over to Jesus. You know, people are just... Just the love of money is the root of all evil. You know, it has really become the root of all evil and the focus of man, mankind, unfortunately. You know, it doesn't matter who they are. It doesn't matter. Uh, people are just crazy about money. But anyway, so I was just talking about character and morals and values of individuals and, and, and people... Uh, you know, uh, they don't be surprised uh, because of, or don't look at the person's profession and and or whatever the work they do, whatever status and 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 rich or poor, and say, oh, I can't believe this person did this. Why not? Why are you Why are you surprised that you know that the person did this or did that? You know, they lack character. Character is missing in so many people's lives. Values, morals are missing in so many people's lives these days. You know, um, and again, we need the spirit of God. People need the spirit of God. Don't I don't trust anybody. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you live under this roof with me. I don't trust people because people will, they can do and they can undo. They will turn on you. They, they're after, you know, they're all after something. You know, they're just, it's so many, it's, they, oh, people's hearts are wicked. I'm telling you, their hearts are very wicked these days. You know, and I try not to get, let people get close to me and, you know, 
and I don't get close to people because people just do so many things. It's like, wow, you know, they, you know, so, mm-mm, 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 and just when you think somebody is upstanding, <laughs> they go with some foolishness you know not that nobody you know because this is the first thing people say well nobody's perfect it's not about being perfect it's not about being perfect but it is about having morals to, to being a, an upstanding person etc 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 but really we cannot we can strive for that but without the spirit of God all of that is 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 come it comes to naught you know we cannot do it in our own uh because what the bible says that your spirit and your flesh wars against one another okay that you know you your flesh is fighting you like like the other day i was uh with someone and they were like do you, you don't mind if I, they were already smoking. I had jumped out the car for a minute and then I got back in and they were smoking and I was like, and they were like, you don't mind if I uh, smoke? I said, yes, I do. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You know, um, but you know, what I was going to say is you, you have this urge, you, you, you might be trying to stop smoking, but you, but you, you have this urge, you know, your flesh is weak, you know. Uh, you know, just like uh, a lot of people, they have sexual devices. Uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, what a Freudian slip. No, no, just kidding. But most, a lot of people have sexual, sexual vices. You know, they're, they can't stop masturbating. They can't stop uh, buying hookers or the pain prostitutes or they can't stop pornography uh, you know even they you know messing with children you know all kinds of things you know I mean there's so many things you know that people are uh, addicted to you know um, and again you know you need we have to submit those things first of all submit ourselves to God then submit those things to God in order for change, if we want change, because everybody don't want change. They're, they're stuck in that lifestyle and they don't really see a way out. And a lot of people don't see a way out because they think of, when they think of God, they think of uh, religious institutions and they're totally two separate things and, you know, and, and that one, the religious institution is an entity. And God is a deity, okay? He's God. But they, you know, so they don't, and then, or they've already been, you know, attending a, a religious institution and their life has not changed. Well, yes, your life is not going to change by re, uh, going into a building. You need the spirit of God and you need to submit yourself, confess those sins and repent of them and ask the Holy Spirit to help you with it. You know what I mean? God is not going to just come and force you to stop doing it. But you have to give it to him and submit it to him. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say. I just I keep people keep getting saying uh, these, this person was a professional. This person was this. They, can't, they did this. They did that. You know, that doesn't change the man. That doesn't change mankind. Your profession, I can be the, the best attorney in the world. <laughs> but if if I never accept Christ Jesus, I'm going to be a thief, a liar. I'm going to be everything. A deviant, okay, a miscreant. I'm going to be all sorts of things because my flesh is not saved or not being saved <laughs> okay so anyway i just hope that this will help someone and and you will stop uh, judging people by this rule this ruler and and start looking at people for what they really are and start praying for people's salvation and that people change and that the lord will help them and whatnot so anyway i'll talk to you later love you bye-bye for now